from the station on your side. You're watching Weefy News 10 at 6. Back now with another business falling victim to the pandemic. But the owner hopes it won't be for good. It's a popular hot spot in Norfolk for the country western crowd, but for now, the music has to stop. And your side's Tamara Scott has that story for us tonight. The bank here in Norfolk has seen a lot in the nearly 50 years they've been open. But the disruption that has come with COVID has been their hardest hit. The owner tells me deciding to close has been the hardest decision he's ever made. It's like when I drove into the parking lot today, there were tears in my eyes because I know what I was going to do. And that was to deliver the news to 20 employees that days before Thanksgiving, they no longer had a job. It's probably the hardest decision I've ever made because there's so many people that depend on me and the bank for their two-week check. Owner Dennis Dottie says the beloved country western restaurant and bar has been able to stay afloat over 47 years, but COVID-19 has had the biggest impact. This last cut at 10 o'clock has crippled us and it has hurt my staff. We're at probably a third of what we used to do. Not to mention the risk of transmission. I, I just can't have the waitresses and bartenders susceptible to COVID. They are asking for community support. If the community can just, if they could reach out to their officials, tell them how much they, you know, love the bank, other restaurants, um, they need help. The staffs need help. Um, they need to push some kind of package through this time around again. And Dennis is confident this is not permanent. One of our shirts that it says on the back, this ain't our first rodeo. We will continue to carry this tradition uh, along the way and carry the torch and the bank will make it. Dennis says ultimately no one knows what the future holds, but he believes in their store and their community. So, like the sign says, they'll see you soon. In Norfolk, Tamara Scott, 10 on your side.